All of the thoughts and feelings of the last two months seem so significant now. It seems ridiculous that I was ever even thinking about leaving him or that I ever chose my AP over him. I just want to rewind time and undo everything that happened this year. My betrayed husband always cared for me. He just wasn't able to make me feel it. What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another story post. Guys, I'll put this up on the screen if you want to check it out. But you guys read the title? Let's just get into it. So, Reddit support for waywards. My betrayed husband took himself out. Wow. Wow. They don't understand the pain that they cause. I really don't know what to do or how to feel. I'm completely numb. I feel like I caused this. He has been struggling with depression for a long time within our marriage. I spent three years trying to care for him, pushing him to exercise, reminding him to eat when he had no appetite, trying to convince him to go to therapy, etc. And every day felt like I was fighting with a brick wall. I poured so much love into him, and he was never able to give anything back because of his depression. To be completely honest, this was one of the main reasons for my affair. As I got closer to my AP, I felt more and more like I had finally found someone who was able to care for me just as much as I cared for him. In retrospect, it was all just the smoke and mirrors of limerence. My betrayed husband always cared for me. He just wasn't able to make me feel it. It has been a little more than two months since he found out about my affair. After he found out, I really struggled to choose to reconcile. I was still infatuated with my AP and convinced that he would solve all of my problems. And the effort required to build our relationship back up just seemed way too much. He desperately wanted to reconcile after the affair. But I kept saying that I needed to think about it. I think he just wanted someone to be there for him. And I failed him a second time. All of the thoughts and feelings of the last two months seem so significant now. It seems ridiculous that I was ever even thinking about leaving him. Or that I ever chose my AP over him. I just want to rewind time and undo everything that happened this year. I thought I was unhappy. But I guess I just never knew what unhappiness truly feels like. I wasn't unhappy. I was just comfortable and bored. His parents know about the affair and they are both blaming me for it. For what he did to himself. I've been told that I won't be allowed to attend the funeral. I understand why they feel that I should have, shouldn't be there. But it still hurts so much to be kept away, to be kept away from the funeral of the person I love. I'm not sure if I should try to fight this or just allow them to have some peace. He has been gone for three days, and I'm totally lost without him. I miss him so much. He was my best friend, so life without him would be hard enough if he just chose to leave me. The fact that I basically did this to him makes it unbearable. How am I ever supposed to live, live with that? I feel like taking myself out. But the thing that stops me is the belief that I don't deserve it. I deserve all of the suffering that is coming my way for the rest of my life. And me taking myself out would just be taking the cowardly, selfish way out. Wow. Ma'am, no one's going to feel bad for you in this situation. Oh, I did this to my best friend. You married someone who was going through something and those vows, think about those vows. You should have stuck by his side and did what you could. But your solution to the problem, you saying I tried everything I could. I would remind him to eat and all this stuff. But, you know, it led me to wanting and ha wanting to have someone else. I needed someone else. I couldn't take it anymore. Why would you marry him? Why would you why would you do that? I'm just going to go have an affair. 
and he does this to himself and you're saying, oh, this was my best friend. This this is how you treat your best friends. Well, I mean, this is how you treat your husband. This is ridiculous. He's every they're not, they're not letting me see him. They're not letting me go to the funeral. Why would they? You look what you've done. You've done enough, ma'am. This is quite sad. I'm not going to lie. This is quite sad. In Europe, we're talking about, well, I feel like I want to do this to myself and I have to live with this. Good. Good. I wish you could be charged. Let's check out the comments. This is incredibly tragic, both for you and him and his family. I suggest you never contact him again and visit his grave when you can. I wouldn't fight to attend the funeral. Hope you get the help you need. OP, I'm so sorry. It's only been three days. I hope you're with people who are supporting you through this. As someone that suffers from depression and being a wayward myself, this post hits me hard on many different levels. All I say in regards to everything, if you want hit if you want if you want, ask his parents if they would allow you to visit privately during the layout. If they tell you no, then just accept their response as they are grieving the loss of a child. Others have said, just visit the burial site after everything has settled down if you must. All I can say is I'm sorry for everyone involved in this situation. I myself have been diagnosed severe with severe depression, anxiety, and PTSD, as well as have some potential further diagnosis. When I found out about my wayward spouse, this EA, ever since my feelings of severe depression and self-loathing quickly capped out at their worst, and I have had many thoughts of offing myself as well, frequently ever since. I wouldn't push to go to the funeral. It's about him, his life, and his family's grief, not you. If I'm being honest, and I don't mean to be harsh, but I don't think you actually wanted him back as he tried to reconcile for two months and you rejected this, as well as didn't want to put in work to fix what you had done because you felt it would be too difficult. I am not saying you are to blame, but that this may be guilt making you feel this way as you already made your choice, which was already AP and had not regretted it until the passing of your ex. I also do not like how you go on about how his depression was an inconvenience for you and using it as an ex and using it as an excuse for your unfaithfulness, which further makes me believe what I've stated above. I'm sorry for your loss, truly I am, but this isn't about you at all. Absolutely. So sorry. My sister tried to do that to herself after her wayward spouse cheated on her. She survived by a miracle when her friend and support system saved her. Probably the biggest reason why I always say that betrayed spouses and wavered spouses need to tell friends and family, someone at least. It may sound a bit extreme, but consider checking into a mental health care facility for a few days, weeks. Do not fight not going to the funeral. It won't do anyone any good, you or the family. OP, you did not cause this man to do this. It does hurt to read this, I'm sure, but you did exaggerate underlying issues none of us would want to be in your shoes turn off your dms for a while and go get some help you're going to need it i can already see this thread getting closed really soon but i'm sorry for your loss and i offer my deepest condolences to you all no advice i cannot imagine all of the emotions involved here ish i am very sorry what a difficult situation i can only imagine that emotions are running high right now guilt and regret you are not responsible for the actions of others. I hope you realize that. No matter how cruel you might have been to him emotionally, you did not do this to him. Guys, let me know what you think about that in the comments. Quite sad if you think about it. It really is sad. Just the carelessness. And he was complaining like, oh, he's in depression. He's this. He's that. I have to do this for him and do that for him. You know what? I'm just going to have an affair. Like, really? Man tries to reconcile with you. You're addicted to AP. Boom, he does what he does. Now you feel bad. Guys, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. I'll catch you guys at the next one.